Hey, everybody. Quint Lear's NewHomeSales.com. Interview after interview. Relentless at the International Builder Show. And we're just hitting people up. This interview is brought to you by Kimberly Mackey, founder of NewHomesSolutions.com. Kimberly Mackey is a sales and marketing management consultant, keynote speaker, and new home sales trainer. Her real world experience brings sales and management solutions to home builders. Visit NewHomesSolutions.com. Oh wait, Greg Bray with Bloom Tangerine. Always be ready for anything we're live on the International Builder Show. We're not, we're not live, but hey, but, but uh, it's you? always good to see you, man. Listen, yeah. we met you at the best home building practice this summer. Are you going to be there again this year? Absolutely, wouldn't miss that one. That's a great show. Tell me this, Greg. You're, you're a thought leader within your industry. Give me one tip uh, for a great website. You know what? The, my, the tip I'm pushing today is get rid of the line drawings and invest in some renderings for your website. <laughs> get rid of those line drawings, those elevations. Yeah, you know, so so that people see a real picture of what this home is supposed to look like. Is it a real picture or like uh, the augmented reality stuff? The, the augmented stuff. So take your CAD, get somebody to do a nice rendering for you, so that so that they can visualize. What them. company do you recommend? Uh, Outhouse is the one that we work with a lot. Yep. yep. Great, great to see you at the International Builder Show. Keep it rolling. Thanks, brother. See you at the summit. There's our friends from Cedia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, uh, 210, you're, no, no, am I, am I going to interview, you're being interviewed right now. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Who are you with, Wait, let's, let's introduce <laughs> Janine Jones with 210 Home Buyers Warranty. What's the number one uh, warranty uh, problem that builders are having right now? Most costly, the biggest dumb thing, like product-wise, like, what do they need to like, okay, put more caulking on the bathtub, what's that one thing that you would give advice to? I don't even think it has anything to do with product because what we know is nothing in life is perfect, including the homes that we build. And so it's not necessarily about trying to be perfect or trying to fix one thing. It's about how to react when it does go wrong. And so something's gonna go wrong and we know it's gonna go wrong. Let's plan for it and not be surprised when it goes wrong and help people. I think the number one thing in warranty is when, when a homeowner maybe gets upset, it's because they don't feel heard. And so it's helping our builders think about things differently about their process and about how to react when it does go bad and helping the homeowners feel heard. I love that, always great content. Great. I hope to see you again at the uh, Epic event. You're gonna be there this year or no? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on my calendar. Woo! <laughs> hey, listen, have a great uh, great show, thanks so much. Bye guys. 210, check out Janine, be safe. <music> We're looking for some. Oh, come on, man, what is this? We got Peter with Cedia, dude, your your uh, your video is doing great from last year. How's the technology event going for you this year? Everything's going excellent. Yeah, yeah. obviously, smart home has just continued to grow our uh, influence, and a lot of uh, people are asking those questions and wanting to know more and more about how to handle their digital strategies, how to handle everything that's happening their way. You know. Okay. If a builder could only do one smart thing in their home, just one, what is it? Oh, easy question. Easy question. A great enterprise level network. Enterprise means it's like a business like network. So it has the bandwidth to be able to handle all these devices. Because what's happening is everybody's seeing all these new smart things and they're bringing them all home. They're just throwing them on their Wi Fi. They're not even thinking about how that is creating traffic. And so the way I like to explain it is if you have a two lane road and you got one or two cars on there, no big deal. You're flying, right? When you get three, four, five, six, now all of a sudden everything slows down because now there's more traffic and they have nowhere to go. An enterprise level network is like an, a, a highway. 
and a highway has channels and there's a passing lane and there's this lane and that lane. And so we can set up lanes for home control. We can set up lanes for accessing the internet. We can set up lanes for things. And so that's what an enterprise level does. On top of it has a much better and robust security so that obviously all the hackers that are coming in all these devices, because that's the other thing that a lot of people don't think about is they just start throwing things on their network, not necessarily understanding it. Check out the full uh, interview with Peter Cook from Cedia. Listen, have a great show. I'm here at the International Builder Show with NewHomeSales.com. Take care. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, we, we saw Ryan. Great to see you, Ryan. Yeah, we got Ryan was on the interview. We're gonna go. We're gonna finish up here, but great to see you guys, and we'll talk soon. This is an enormous show. Jamie. Home Builder Institute. I'm here with Jamie Haley. Listen, you're all prepared. How's the show been for you? Um, it's been good. Tiring, but fun. It's exhausting. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Are you building a house right now? No. Why do you have all the gear on? Because of safety regulations and a little Well, it, it's awesome. So uh, what, what do we have? Are you doing uh, uh, panels or what, what's happening? Uh, or oh, oh, you're with the trades, right? Teaching trades? Yeah, I'm a student of HPI, so um, solar is one of the things I'm certified in installing. We built these trainers to kind of show off student skills. Listen, congratulations. This is uh, this is awesome. There's a lot of investment right now in the trades. Um, how do we connect with what you're doing? Is there a website or anything like that? Um, I think it's hpi.org. Um, there's centers in every state, but if you just go on the website, there should be plenty of information. Listen, keep making an impact. You're doing awesome. So here we go. Steve, how are you? I'm, I'm glad that you came by. The trades are really important right now. Talk to me about the trade shortage, because a lot of builders are concerned about it, and even HBAs. They're starting to change from like, okay, golf tournaments and stuff to like, how do we involve educationally and get people uh, uh, trained, right? Absolutely, that's what HBI does. That, that's our purpose, is to be part of the solution to the critical labor shortage that we're experiencing right now. I think we, we focus not on like, oh, I'm going to be an attorney, right, because that's where you make money. But I think if you do what you love to do and you're good at it and you're proficient at it, you're going to do um, good things. You excel and become better and, and be a better citizen in the long run, and you're going to have a better life for yourself and your family. That, that's the whole idea. Any message that you have uh, for young professionals thinking about getting into the trades or the leaders, you know, investing into the other people? Well, I think that, the, you know, don't play the trades down. I mean, it's it's a viable career for just about anybody that it, that it is willing to commit to any career, just like any other industry. Um, it, it's it's an honorable career, like you said, and I think we that from cult, from a cultural pr purpose or perspective, we need to look at it as as a, a, another option other than the four year track that a lot of people are going to and ending up in debt, not getting jobs, where you don't you can get a job in our industry. And, and earn a decent living. And then one thing, I mean, people start off as like, I'm picking up scraps, then I'm a carpenter, next thing I'm a builder, next thing I'm a what, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you can go to school at the same time. We've got, we've got opportunities in, in the community college, post-secondary systems, so you can become that master builder or that business owner. Um, the entrepreneurial opportunities within home building is just phenomenal. There, you look at the, the number of people that come into this, our industry as helpers, Less than 10, 15 years in the future, they're owners of, of multi-housing, you know, construction companies. Um, uh, well, I'm at the Home Builder Institute, right? Ho building careers, changing lives. New home sales. So can can I can I? Is he getting it set up? What we're gonna do. Hey, John. John, what are you doing with that microphone? I'm the one with the microphone. Oh, I'm over here running a nail driving contest. Hey, can I can I do the nail driving contest? Yes, you can. Do you think because I'm a sales and marketing professional that I'm not uh, capable of, ha of hammering a nail? I think you can hammer a nail if you got it in you. Let's find out if newhomesales.com, come on, because a lot of people downplay sales like, yeah, grab a hammer. We're going to watch. Get around there, camera. Really. And now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who am I up against? Brian Martin, master's design builder. You're going down. I'm, I'm friends with Brian, but he's about to lose to newhomesales.com. OK, that, this is the real competition here. Here we go. Are you ready? Hey, bro, listen, I, I, I'll give it to him. You won. Thanks, appreciate it. But it was still fun, right? It was fun, absolutely. Hey, second place is the first loser. But we're not going to quit, dude. We never quit.
You know what the difference between quit and quint? Is the letter N. N stands for never. Good job. Hey guys, keep giving back. I would love something to eat here. What do we have here? Caesar's Palace? Are we getting food? What do we have? Listen, buongiorno. Now, what's your name? Mike Jasper. M Mike. Well, we're going to do a little spare round. I'm a little bit upset because I thought Lapitec was a restaurant. Are we a restaurant? It can be, if you like. So what do we... Uh, can we sample something? What are, we, are we making food? Is this not for human consumption? <laughs> not Lapitec, hey, but the cheese is. So what is Lapitec and what is, how has the show been for you so far? And by the way, we're with uh, newhomesales.com. It's a marketing and sales, but we're going around looking for innovative ideas and stuff. So Lapitec is actually a new category. It's called Sintered Stone. So the material is 100% minerals. There's no resins or bonders in the material. It's actually self-sustained. Uh, the material does not stain, doesn't etch. The material is, was essentially developed and designed for exterior applications. Well, whatever can go outside can go inside. Be specific. Are we talking about um, uh, countertops, sinks? Are we talking about uh, faucets? We're what are we talking about? Countertops, and I'm going to bring you over this. All right, let's do this. Don't forget about the food. Mario's going to make me something good. Hey, by the way, can I compliment? Can I compliment you on something? Look at this suit. I mean, this is a nice suit. Your tie is perfect. You've got a name badge. Sales professional. I mean, I'm, I'm walking around people this last day. They're sleeping. This not you. You're you're rolling. You got to be on. That's all. What what? So you're in sales, marketing. What is your role? Uh, management. But everybody's in sales. I like. Thank you for saying that because so many people are like I'm the manager, but they, they want to disassociate themselves. But the sales are people are the ones no, what? We're all on the same level. Give me a sales technique because our audience is, is builders, salespeople. Uh, give me give me something that you do different as a sales professional. Or as a one of, as leader in your industry? No, I think regardless of, number one, it's knowledge, right? So sales just really trans, transfers into experience and knowledge and product knowledge. Yeah. So if, as long as I can speak clearly about the product, then that's a sale. You stand out to me as a professional because you you look like you're you know about to sell something well, I expensive. Need, I think you need to dress and fit the part. So number one, this is a high-end luxury product, and you have to dress that part. If, if I'm going to be in a Bentley dealership, I'm not going to wear shorts and a T-shirt. Right? I'm going to wear a so suit. know the role then? Know the role, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute. Tell me about your product, what makes it different, so, and let's roll. So I think one thing that's really apparent is you look at the door fronts. This is actually Lapitec. So the door fronts is Lapitec, the countertop's Lapitec. Obviously, we're cutting directly on the countertop, which everyone says you can't cut on countertops. With Lapitec, you can. You can cut on it. You can actually put food on it. You can put a hot pot directly on the countertop. It's not something that we worry about. It was designed for this. But is uh, it made from some chemical? Or what, what is the resin? No chemicals. So there's no VOCs in the material. It's not emitting VOCs. Uh, the silica content in regards to Bianco Assoluto and Nero Assoluto is zero. There's no silica content in those two products. As far as everything else, um, the material has titanium dioxide that's embedded in the product. That's a part of the process. And that actually helps with the cleanability and actually clean air, healthy green, right? So the material helps to break down pollutants in the air as well. Well, you have like an Italian theme. This looks like the Caesar thing. Well, what, this what is an Italian product, so it's made in Italy. So we're in, we're made out of Vettelago, Italy. We're about 20 minutes outside of Marco Polo, Venice. So it's an Italian made product, high end. So are you from Italy? I am not from Italy. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Okay. If, if I say coffee and dog, you'll know. <laughs> listen, I'm, an, I'm an East Coaster, too, so I can talk fast and you can understand me. We'll, we can roll. Uh, listen, congratulations on your product. Keep on keeping on. Thanks for being an example of uh, professionalism. Now, Mario, now gosh, do you know what? Check it. Look at this, man. Nice and nice salad will come here. Can we try this stuff? Absolutely. No, Mario, I'm going to talk to Mario real quick. What is your background? So you fly, you're a chef. What, what do we yeah, have? Me and my wife, we have a restaurant in uh, San Diego, and uh, we've become very big friends and big fan of this material because in one of our past restaurants, we had this material in the bar. Okay, what's the name of your restaurant and what is your specialty? We have, uh, we're going to have uh, two restaurants. So one is going to call uh, Chicha and is in Barrio Logan, and the other one is Blade 1936 in Oceanside. Congratulations, man. That's Thank a competitive you. market. I mean, some of the best 
things. What, what's your what is your uh, specialty? Is it uh, French food, Italian food? What is what do you love? No, what you is know, when you, you when you when you are a chef, you know, of course our specialty is Italian because we know how to do Italian very well. But then uh, you know you starting uh, manage your uh, your experience and uh, starting to doing something different. And what's your favorite? What is your favorite food? If you said like I'm gonna eat fresh pasta and uh, you know make it in uh, many any other different way we can. I'm gonna eat this. Do you mind if I eat this? I should have, because uh, I've already kind of gone back and forth. This interview is brought to you by Rendering House. One of the biggest challenges we face in new home sales is not being able to show the customer a completed home. Rendering House helps home builders advance the selling process, utilizing photorealistic augmented reality, virtual reality, and 3D renderings. Transform your boring static renderings into engaging customer experiences across all digital marketing channels. Visit renderinghouse.com. So we're going to do smart is the new standard. Let's check out. The, I'm a big fan of small homes. Hey, how are you, Jason? Is it okay if we uh, film the home? This is a, 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 a small home, right? Or demoing the uh, smart home automation system built. Oh, okay, sweet. That's Chris creative. Pretty awesome. Is that where you sleep? CJ, let's get up there. Hey everybody, Quint Lears in the 2019 International Builder Show. I'm here with Steve Lukowitz with Takara Solutions. Steve, how's the show been for you? Show's been great. We've had so many different people come by, really excited about what we have to offer. Um, they've heard a lot about what we have, but we've come up with a brand new uh, version of our software. It's really the only fully integrated home builder CRM solution out on the market. It handles anything from the front end marketing through um, the sales process, making sure that you're converting those leads that come in into a home buyer. Then, of course, hand, giving you all the tools to help them with that process. This show, what's the biggest takeaway that you see, you know, also going to the trainings and, and visiting with people? What's, what's the theme this year? Uh, I've been involved in the home building industry for probably about 25 years, and one of the things that I'm hearing at this show is we want to be able to make it easy. We want to be able to easily convert our leads into home buyers. And what can we do to be able, really be able to convert those people as easily as possible? Also being able to take information from a variety of different sources and have it be in one solution so that you're not having to go to multiple different places to get the information that you need. So how do you not be obnoxious with follow-up? One of the things that we recommend is that you personalize your follow-up. You don't want to send out a general follow-up to everybody. You want to start off slow and you want to provide them with information so they want to give you more information about them. As they feel more comfortable with you as a home builder, they're going to be more comfortable in giving you that information. As you build that demographic profile, you're able to personalize the experience with them and then ultimately uh, convince them that you are the right home buyer for them or you're the right home builder for them, I'm sorry, and that you've got the right home and the right community uh, that they want. Let me ask you this though, how do you get accurate information? Because so many people, like, you know, if I go to a, a car dealership, it's like, please fill this out. I'm like, okay, I'm uh, Mickey Mouse, here's my uh, 1-800, uh, go away or something. How do you get accurate information? How do you train salespeople? Or what would be your technique to actually uh, get real information? Start building a relationship. Ask for limited information at first, Prove to them why they should give you more information. Show that there's going to be benefits to them by providing you with more information. And by you know, being able to, to really, again, personalize the experience, uh, studies have shown that you really are going to get a lot more from them because they're going to feel that it's really important so that, they, that you as a home builder can provide them with what, what they need to really make their decision. Uh, listen, thanks so much for being here at the International Builder Show 2019 here with Steve Lukowitz. And uh, what's your URL? How do we look at what you're doing? Uh, we're at www.takarasolutions backslash home builder CRM. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much.
What in the world is this, dude? Uh, oh my god. Okay, now I see what's going on. Hey everybody, Quint Lears with NewHomeSales.com at the 2019 International Builder Show. I'm here with Chris. Chris with Nortech Security and Control. How are you doing, Chris? Doing great. Is this an awesome show or what? Yeah, this is great. I mean, hey, so and, and you still have your voice? Almost, yes. Only another, only another day and a half to go. So um, you, you've had a sales background, but now you're into security and technology. you got some fascinating products here. Talk to me about what you got. Nortech Security and Control has 17 brands across many different categories that are wonderful um, for, for the building community. So we do access control, security. We're actually the world's largest security manufacturer. Uh, and then we have plenty of smart devices, so your video doorbell, working with door locks, smart thermostats, smart lighting. And then what we do with Elon is tie everything together. So now I've got a connected home. So rather than having a bunch of fragmented smart devices, now I've got everything connected under one hood, so when I pull into my driveway, my garage door knows I'm home, it automatically opens. The smart lock engages so I can walk, easily walk into my kitchen, and my kitchen and dining room lights turn on. I don't press a button to do that, make that happen. It's because the Elon system is connected to all of these other smart devices, and now I have practical advantages and, and make practical things happen within the house. Uh, anything else, okay, what's, what's a technology that, that's big, that's coming in the future? We're always looking for future trends. So a great example is our, is our touch panel. You know, it, again, with a connected home, people are so used to, with a smart home, going up to a, you know, a device like this, pressing a button and making something happen. This touch panel does that, but this touch panel does a whole lot more. Actually has a, uh, a built-in camera and far field microphone. So what that means is this has facial recognition built in. So me as the homeowner can walk up to the, to the uh, touch panel it recognizes my face, can recognize my, my spouse's face, and instantly set the lights to my level, make sure the climate is at my level, and maybe have my Spotify playlist playing. It also has a far field microphone, so it has Alexa built into it, has Google Home built into it, so I can say, Alexa, turn the TV on, and it'll go through that whole scene, but maybe I'm a, I'm a homeowner that I don't trust Alexa or one of those brands because I'm afraid of privacy concerns. It's not, it's not internet connected. You don't have to worry about the CIA exactly. listening. It's still part of the closed connected system. And, and to us, that's really important. This is your system. It's closed. It, it's secure for you. So that way, if you're adding surveillance into it, you've got security into it. Again, it's closed. Only you have access to it. You don't have to worry about somebody else peeking into the system. All right, man, how do we connect with you and see some of the products and demos? Yeah, so, so go to, go to the uh, Nortech Security and Control website, um, Lawn Home Systems website, and, and we'll get you in touch with uh, you know, either one, one of us, one of our local uh, dealer partners, and, uh, and get you set up with the program. Michael Lynch, listen, awesome show this year. Thanks so much for joining us at newhomesales.com at the International Builder Show.